We opened a haunted house in an actual haunted location. My love for film and acting finally got the chance to come out. It wasn't your typical haunted attraction. It was like live theater, but with a graphic twist. Each room had its own haunting story to tell. For the next four years, I would make some of the best memories of my life and meet some of the most important people as well. But during the first year, I had a girlfriend. She hated anything haunted due to her own past experiences. But as a lead actor in the Love Triangle Room, I begged her to come and watch me perform against her better judgment. She did. The first year of the haunted attraction, we didn't have much help. It was literally thrown together in days. So therefore, the amount of actors in each room were extremely limited. And because of that, we knew exactly where every person was at all times. Terrified, she walked with her group through the darkness, up the back stairs, to the third floor. I was in the second room, so she had to go watch the first scene before she could see me. That year, the first room was the collector room. Nothing more than a horrific looking room with body parts and jars and a crazy old man looking for his next victim. After the scene was over, the actor was standing in the doorway, yelling and screaming for them to get out. That was the cue for the group to leave the room. She was the last one in line, actually holding on to a kid in front of her because she was so terrified. She thought she was safe, but just before she left the first room and entered the hallway, something grabbed her right ankle. She jerked her foot away instantly and turned around, completely freaked out, and with a nervous laughter, she said to the actor, that's a good way to get yourself kicked. Later in the evening, when there were no more groups coming up, she told me about that actor and how she almost kicked him in the face. And she said they shouldn't be touching people. I was completely confused because I knew that there was no actor in that room beside the one that was standing in the hallway demanding them to leave. All the blood left her face and she turned white as a sheet. She was ready to leave the hotel. Still thinking that I was joking with her, to her horror, she got confirmation from other people saying the same thing. She was looking at the only actor in that room when something grabbed her from behind. She grew silent and I knew it was time to go. We had a long drive ahead of us. Both of us were very tired. At first, everything was going well. We both had a lot of fun. She was helping downstairs while I was acting upstairs. She was comfortable in the music hall. Everyone is. It's safe there. The conversation was going great. Then suddenly everything changed. We felt a heavy presence fill up our back seat. It was like in the movies when they know something horrible is behind them and they don't want to look. I tried not to say anything at first because I didn't want to scare her. But then she brought it up. So I simply rebuked the evil spirit that was following us home and it left. But to my surprise, a few minutes later, it was back just like at the cemetery. Again, I rebuked it, and again, it left instantly. But again, it came back. This happened multiple times, and the closer we got to home, we both realized it was trying to come home with us. I finally got the impression on my heart that she needed to be the one to rebuke the spirit. So she did, and it went away for the final time. So we thought, The next night, we were getting ready for bed, and I noticed she seemed strange. She's normally always happy and very cheerful, but she was angry, like violently angry. 
After I tried to find out what was wrong, she finally snapped and started cursing me out and yelling at the top of her lungs before storming out of the room. She'd never done that before. I waited a few minutes to let her cool off until she finally burst through the door again. This time, she was squalling with tears running down her face. She jumped on the bed, curled up in a ball, and just started shaking. She even pulled covers over her head trying to hide herself from me, but I pulled them off. She was hysterically crying while clutching the Shield of Faith necklace that I got her. It's the same necklace that I would buy and give to people. On my cases, I would bless it and give it to them for protection, protection from evil. Now the one I loved was clutching the necklace, convulsing violently, and I didn't know what to do. So I prayed. My heart hit my stomach when I realized praying was making it worse. But I knew what that meant. Something was trying to take her over. So I prayed even harder. I hit the spirit with multiple Bible verses over and over and continued rebuking it in the name of Jesus. And I felt it weaken. So then I told her to rebuke it with everything that she has out loud in the name of Jesus. And she did. Instantly it left. The suffocating presence that filled my room was gone. She instantly felt better. She stopped shaking. I was no longer afraid. But as soon as I put my arms around her, she began crying again. In complete shock of what just happened. Something evil attached itself to her from that hotel. And it tried to possess her. It makes me sick in my stomach to think what would have happened if I wasn't there. Thank God I was. But my next question is, if it happened to her, who else has it happened to?